The Florida State Seminoles had an incredible season that unfortunately ended in unwarranted disappointment. Leading the path for this incredible season was Keon Coleman, their highly touted transfer wide receiver who came over after showing major potential at Michigan State. Coleman's stats and athleticism are apparent, but in this crowded class, how does he stack up? Find out in this two-minute drill. Coleman's highlight reel is filled with acrobatic contested catches. His body control that can be attributed to his basketball background and incredible 6'4 frame allow him to box out even the tightest coverage from defensive backs at the catch point and snag the ball. His catch radius is premium. He's able to reach high and avoid body catching, leaving the cornerback completely out of the play. If you're looking for a reliable emergency target for when the defense has you in a bind, Coleman is your guy. And his speed for his size is top notch. Coleman has some burners on him and could run in the low 4-4s at the combine on his best day. He gets up to that top speed very quickly and is able to make a strong release combining that speed with his physicality at the release point. Coleman operates at his best within the first couple seconds of a play. If a quarterback manages to keep up with his initial reaction off the snap, it's a great surprise. Unfortunately, what Coleman brings in tools, he loses in terms of polish. He brings a lot of the separation concerns that highly touted height-weight speed receivers in the past fell victim to when translating to the NFL. Coleman often feels reliant on that athleticism and physicality and doesn't win in numerous ways like some of his draft class competition. You come away from his highlight reel thinking, this is great, but why is he always in these contested situations? At its core, it's his route running. Coleman is a mostly straight line player and has a difficult time getting in and out of his breaks and making quick corner turns. Coleman loses his initial straight line burst when getting to the top of his route, and it results in cornerbacks being given that initial step that he may have gained from the release right back to them. He just doesn't ever find a way to get more open than he needs to be, which you have to wonder if that gap will be smaller in the NFL and if his success will translate. For a player comp, I think Keon Coleman compares best to Kenny Galladay. In his prime, Galladay was able to use his physical nature to snag those contested catches over NFL guys and worked well as a top wide receiver for the Detroit Lions. However, those Giants years are plagued with the issues I see in Coleman, poor route running and over-reliance on physical traits. All in all, I feel like you have to take a chance on Coleman if you can. The traits and physicality are what scouts salivate over, and he has a strong foundation to build off of and turn into a complete number one wide receiver. I've got him graded as a late first round talent, but see him going in the middle of the first in all likelihood. And that's the two minute drill.